side of a hill or something and then they, a guy comes out and pulls this and the concrete comes down and goes into a trimmy it goes into a place where you couldn't fit a concrete truck so that's how we get it around okay yeah we're there now now we know huh? same as it ever was same as it ever was same as it ever was water dissolving and water removing there is water at the bottom It helps us clean the water. So the first thing that we do is we use a polymer. In this case, we're going to use some soap. We dip it in, we mix it around, and you can see all the solids go to the bottom. It all moves to the bottom. So then you can separate the water in one direction, and you can do the uh, solids in another, and we can treat both. Wow. That's the kind of stuff we're doing. Fascinating, huh? <laughs> on the bottom here do not settle. So you, just, you compact the soil first, then you put the pipeline on. And sometimes you put this on top of the pipe if it's strong enough. That's right. But this whole story here is, is that you look at this and you say, what are these here for? Well, when it vibrates, this gives divots into the, into the soil. As that goes down through, it compacts, and you got these little holes all over there. And a farmer came by one time and looked at that and said, looks like my sheep have been through here. So he says, oh yeah, we call that a sheep's foot. Uh -huh. From now on, it's been called sheep foot. Now, uh, you got to send this to Jeremy to show that he lets little kids play on the equipment. <laughs> so That's cool. not very safe. Oh, that would oh yeah. Hey there. What do you got here? We are the okay, Open Dog Food. This was mine. And oh, we yeah. are... Uh, focusing on our board of directors, we have a list of our 25 member board here um, with their respective cities and agencies that they represent um, and also a calendar of all of our public meetings for the remainder of 2012 um, that all the public is welcome to attend and see how our process works here, how decisions are made at the sanitation district. Uh, we have a copy of our agenda for the, our next 
uh, operations yeah. committee meeting yeah. um, being held next yeah. Wednesday um, in our administration building in the boardroom. Right. And uh, all and are welcome to attend like way, and like find out what we like do here at the sanitation you know, district. Body. Right. You're welcome. You may ask yourself, what is that beautiful house? You may ask yourself, where does that highway go to? And you may ask yourself, am I right? Am I wrong? And you may say to yourself, my God, what have I done? Letting the days go by, let the water hold me down. You already have a career. Who's the spokesman here? Oh, what's that? Who's the spokesman here? Uh, spokesman, that was Laura. She just walked away, unfortunately. Well, it looks like it's going to be you. What's this all about? Uh, what's our booth here is human resources. Uh, we're talking about the careers that we have in wastewater for people that they can go into, um, the different opportunities that we have. Great. So, any questions? <laughs> Uh, we have different types of positions um, that come up at different times, like engineer, environmental specialist, um, electrician, maintenance worker, source control, safety and health, scientist, and operator in training. So that's just the, the smidgen of what we have here. So. All right, well, thank you. All right, thank you. Any questions? They will pay you to sniff it out. Yeah. I've got a good job. I've got a very low level here, so. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> what okay, was tell it? me a little bit about this. This is the olfactometer. And we yeah. use this to measure odors. And it helps us to either modify processes or make design decisions um, based on how odorous something is. So it's a tool that we use and it uses real people to identify a level associated with odor. And today we have very pleasant smells. We have orange and vanilla. And um, we're having people come up and take a sniff and see how good their nose is. You guys pay people off the streets to come in and do this, right? We hire through a temporary agency. See, because it's intermittent, um, short-term work. Yes. Because their noses and just dry out after a while. Well, and and, and we need people who we need people whose noses is, are in a certain range. They can't be too sensitive, and they can't have their senses um, totally fried. So we need middle of the road people.